European strains of honeybees are already often harried by yellow jackets and have little defense if attacked by Asian giant hornets. The bees rush out in defense, but this is their undoing. One by one, they're picked off. More hornets join the attack. The hornets emit a chemical rallying cry, and this triggers a unique phenomenon. They no longer carry bee carcasses back to the nest. Instead, they slaughter, then cast aside the body of every defender they meet. The European bees outnumber the hornets a thousand to one, but they didn't evolve alongside these huge Asian predators and have no effective defense. 30,000 honeybees have died in three hours, falling victim to just 30 giant hornets. Then one is caught. It's the signal the others have been waiting for. Surrounded by vibrating bodies, the hornet at the core of the bee ball begins to overheat. The bees have the advantage, a heat tolerance two degrees above that of their enemy. At 46 degrees Celsius, the aggressor is roasted alive. The wild bees have spent millions of years living with the enemy. That's why they alone have developed this extraordinary survival strategy. Giant hornets in Nanaimo where before they've never been here. If you cross them then they're stinging very surely will turn into you. The keepers want to swipe them left upon the tinder. I'm under in you. expecting it we were just kind of trying to be logical but didn't expect immediate success felt like being kicked in the chest and the pain lasted the entire night ouch i'm now the second person to be stung okay ouch sorry What's in there, Conrad? Uh, carbon dioxide. Oh, carbon, okay. Are you taking more samples? Yep. So where did you get stung? Mm, just wherever my pants were tight against my uh, clothes. Do you need more alcohol or something? Uh, I'm just going to transfer these. Actually, since you guys are not doing anything, relatively <laughs> un unoccupied, unemployed. Yes. Uh, you want these inside this? Transfer, transfer those into the into the bottle. You can just grab. If you don't. If you're not. I mean, it's just alcohol. Yeah, they're. So where do you want them transferred to? Into the bottle. Into the, oh, into, into the, the bottle. bottle. And then I'll get some more in the wide. Cause it's way easier to do the to use the wide mouth. Is that a stinger? If they're not dead, then they're almost more, uh, <laughs> stunned. Much more hard even than I give them credit. Than I and give that's what Paul for. said. He said they don't die right away. So. Okay, yep, yep. Good. A little stick helps. If they start buzzing, I'm dropping this. <laughs> oh, thanks, John. Please do. I think they are a little drunk. God, they look Jurassic-like. sound they make is unreal. Mm -hmm. This 
on the thing, you know. John and uh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, John. This must have been like a shock when you just get hit by this thing. This, where's the queen? Where's oh, the queen? oh, that's the queen? I think so. Let me see. Oh, look at her. Look at the size. Oh, my God. So, Let me see the queen. This We're is gonna my... We're going to take a picture. This is yours. This is huh? another bucket of... This, is, this bucket is mine this also. Yours, <laughs> oh, my God. The queen. Oh, my Shh. God. Are you pretty? Look how beautiful she is. Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. Shall we sing? Wings. You are so beautiful. <laughs> no, but look at the. Do you I see know. Her? I know. I know. It's it. It is uh, God's creature I think for sure. A, I think I might have got one of the drones in there as well. Oh my God. What a beautiful safe spot. There's mm -hmm. one in there. I can hear it. Can you? Yeah. Something's buzzing. In here where the nest is. Inside the, Inside uh, the, in the bag, in the garbage bag? Oh, it's in the garbage bag, maybe. Maybe. That could be. Look at this, how beautiful. Yeah. Look at these larvae here. Look at this. Look at them. John, do you want to take a picture? Oh. Come, come and take a... I've taken a video, but... Oh. Look at here. this. At this point, I think we're best served to just dose it with foam in case anybody comes back. <laughs> Yes. So if in case, in case I have to, uh, they might be just, pissed off. Just because they might be pissed off. Oh. Yeah, uh, from a safety, I'll, public I'll safety. I'll and hope, hope that they, that if anybody comes back, that they, uh, they get enough of a dose that they don't hurt anybody. <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay, now I get it. So. You know, it kind of turned out really well that we came at night. I yeah, mean, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> because... Oh, there. Well, most excellent job at, at finding the nest. That was, well, that was I, the main thing. <laughs> well, I tell you, I, I was not expecting it. We were just <laughs> kind of trying to be logical, but didn't expect immediate success. Oh, oh one on your... Oh, no, that's a beetle. beetle. God. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Like, oh. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm going to have nightmares. You were also beekeeper? I am, yes. Oh, okay. He did the Top Bar Hive uh, oh, presentation for so us so and uh, <laughs> and uh, Bees for Babar. Yeah, I remember. No, yes. Sorry, I didn't recognize you. He had the beautiful outfit. The I remember your outfit. It was lovely. It was very different than what you were wearing. That's just <laughs> <laughs> very traditional. Reports of a second nest turned out to be observations of the prominent debris from our eradication efforts. Uh, a few straggler workers who had escaped into the brush during the nest extraction or which had overnighted elsewhere tried to return to the old nest entrance. Uh, there they succumbed to the wasp foam sprayed earlier or to uh, thwacking. If you think you see an Asian giant hornet, remember to slap, snap, zap, and wrap. Slap it with a stick to kill it, snap a photo of it, Zap an email off to info at bcinvasives.ca and the Nanaimo beekeepers at gmail.com and wrap it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it in case a sample is needed. It's never fun to get stung, and non beekeepers may have a more severe reaction than we did if they get tagged. Wasps and hornets are much more likely to sting when you're near their nests or in the fall when they're hangry from dwindling food sources. When you are around stinging insects, it may be helpful to remember this little ditty. Stings have been nil, it's best to stand still, but once you've been stung, cage your eyes and just run. Is there still more around town? Mm, we, we, hope hope not. we hope not. <laughs> oh my god, they're huge. So how do you think they got here? Could have been a whole uh, a nest that was tucked away in a nuclear cranny of a, a um, shipping container, or uh, it could have been um, you know, a, a reproductive female uh, squirreled away in a, 
the shipment of um, yeah. pulp, you know, mm-hmm. wick chips. They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 